everyone, in today's Microsoft Teams video, I want to show you how to create breakout rooms inside of Microsoft Teams. And then I want to show you how to move different people inside of those breakout rooms and video chat and navigate between different breakout rooms. And if you're new to Microsoft Teams, I have a different video showing you exactly how to get started with Microsoft Teams. So I'll link that in the description right below this video. Assuming you already have Microsoft Teams, this is how simple it is to create a breakout room. And I'll do this right here from the very bottom. It says join or create a team. I'll just press that. So I could just create a team from scratch. You don't have to do this if you already have your team on the left side here, but it's very simple to create a team from scratch. I'll press this option here. I'll just make this public for anyone in my organization can join it. And then I'll give my team a name here. And when I have the name here, I'll just press create. And I could type in people's emails or add members here on this page. I'll skip for now. And now I have that team created. And next we want to create breakout rooms for that team. So all we have to do for that is press the three dots next to the team name. Now each different team could have different breakout rooms. So in the case of this team, I'll press these three dots and I want to add channels. Channels are basically the breakout rooms inside of that team. If I press this, it lets me name that channel. So this is going to be group one. I could write a description if I want. Now privacy is important because on the standard mode, anyone on your team could join this group or you could change it to private and then you'll have to manually invite people to it. So let me just go ahead and show you standard for now and I'll show you private on the next group. And I'll go ahead and press add. And as you can see over here, I have the general group that always gets created when you create a team. And I have another one called group one. Now I'm going to come back to the top team here, press the three dots and I'll add another channel called group two. I'll make this one private just to show you the difference here. And I'll press next. And as you can see, when you do private, only the people you add here will see it. So if you want to manually add people to different groups, this is the way to do it with the private option. And I guess this little padlock, it means someone in the general group can't just click the group two and join it, but they could do that to group one. So I've seen it where people create a team and then they tell people to join different groups, group one, two, three, and then people have to manually come and click these or they do the private option with the lock pad and assign people to join those channels here, those breakout groups. I just added a group three. So now we have a general group and three breakout rooms. So let me show you how to activate the video chat inside of each one. So go to the group that you want to activate the video chat on. We're going to do this to all the different groups. And all you have to do is come down here and press meet now, the little camera icon on the very bottom. And here I could add a subject if I wanted to type that here. So you could go ahead and add subject here on this line and then press meet now. This is basically just activating this group right now. So I'm doing this before I invite anybody to join this breakout group. So let me just leave this on and I'll go back to the teams tab over here. And this is now activated. So you see the little camera icon under group one. Now I'll jump to group two. This one is still here. And under group two, I'll press that video icon also. And again, I could add a different subject or same subject. I could press meet now here. And now this one is activated again. No one has joined because I haven't assigned different people to those groups yet. But once this is going, I could see that I'm on hold on the other one. So let me do the same thing. Let me go back to teams here and you could see I have two different tabs. Now I could also do this to the general group, which is what I want to do as well. So I'll go ahead and click the video icon here under the general group and I'll go ahead and press meet now. And that will activate the video for general group one and group two. So again, I could go back to teams over here and you see now I have three different tabs. So even if you have 10 breakout groups here, they'll all show up this way. So as the creator, you could easily jump by pressing play onto different groups, onto different breakout groups. So that's very helpful. And anytime you could jump back to the general group, if you wanted to, by pressing this option over here. And it's that simple to create breakout rooms inside of Microsoft teams. I hope you found this useful. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for easy to follow tech videos and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.